Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Liberals in Hawaii protest Trump visit, but the Japanese greet Ivanka with something amazing. Ivanka Trump just got the reception she deserves. Earlier this week, the Trump family began a trip to Japan that included a quick stop in Hawaii. When they arrived in the island state, they were greeted by protesters wielding sings that say aloha also means goodbye, a jab that signaled that their greetings were actually calls for him to leave. After they did leave, they were given a much warmer reception by the Japanese. Ivanka Trump joined her father on her trip to Japan and a few fans crashed her meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Watch. Japan loves Trump, signs read, but the photos on the signs weren't of our president, they were of our first daughter. This foreign reception follows many positive responses to Trump visits. While Americans are busy protesting their democratically elected leader, the rest of the world loves to see the Trump family aboard. And they should. By making our economy great again. The Trumps aren't just improving America. They're making the world more stable, as well. Comment Japan loves Trump. And share if you would think Americans should honor our president like the Japanese. Unlike liberal Americans, the Japanese are making the Trumps feel loved and welcomed. Kimberly Guilfoyle is hiding something in her closet that she says is better than Trump's. Ladies might agree. Subscribe. Kimberly Guilfoyle is a staunch supporter of Donald Trump, so much so that she was once in talks to become his press secretary, but that doesn't mean she thinks everything he does is best. During an interview with U.S. Magazine, the Fox News host claimed that she did one thing much better than the president. The interview detailed the contents of Guilfoyle's closet, which is filled to the brim with dresses, purses and shoes. Lots and lots of shoes. It's a necessary investment, Guilfoyle claims, because she sits on the fives leg seat. Something tells me that's nothing more than an excuse to feed her obsession with footwear. And what an obsession it is. Although Guilfoyle claims she has no idea how many pairs of shoes she owns. She claimed that there have been estimates of about 500. In order to store all her shoes, she had to build a wall of shelves in her closet. That wall, she claims, is better than Trump's. For the shoe obsessed, it's hard to disagree. Comment wow and share if you love Kimberly Guilfoyle. She's stylish and loves our president. After viciously attacking Mike Pence for months, Mila Kunis gets spanked by Middle America. Hollywood liberal Mila Kunis just went too far. She is just another Hollywood phony, following a long line of legendary disgraces to come from that mech of make-believe. And Mike Pence did not believe his ears when he heard what Mila has been doing in his name. For months. Just out of spite. Look, Mike Pence is a man of faith. He is a man with deeply held beliefs and convictions. He does not hide who he is or what he believes and that enrages the left because they want everyone to agree with them. So she has been making donations to Planned Parenthood in Mike Pence's name. Just to spite him and mock his beliefs. I apologize if I offend anyone. I put him on a list of recurring donations that are made in his name to Planned Parenthood. Every month, to his office. He gets a little letter that says like, an anonymous donation has been made in your name. I don't look at it as a prank, this is like, I strongly disagree, and this is my little way of doing it. It's a peaceful protest, she said. As Breitbart is reporting, Middle America immediately gave her the spanking this little brat deserves. It looks like we may need to boycott to teach her to stop the nonsense. Share if you agree.
Nancy Pelosi finally admits reason why Dems and turncoat GOP can't impeach Trump. Nancy Pelosi just said something that made sense and even Trump was stunned. She went on CNN and spoke to Jake Tapper this morning and crushed liberals across America. Pelosi, shockingly that it came from Nancy Pelosi of all people, threw cold water on the liberal and turncoat GOP dream of impeaching President Trump. In case you missed it the left is mounting a fledged campaign to impeach Trump. They have introduced new measures in the House of Representatives that call for his impeachment and a billionaire has spent close to $10 million on ads to whip the base into a frenzy. True the Dems and turncoat GOP do not have the votes now to do it and ad campaign does not impeachment make but the threat is real for one reason. Midterm elections are never kind to the sitting president. The party in power always loses seats. America tends to not trust politicians so we like it when government is divided. It keeps their greed in check. So the Dems, knowing history is on their side, are waiting for the House to flip to, as Lindsey Graham said, to immediately impeach Trump. And the turncoat GOP will join them, or so the liberal dream goes. It is a real threat and it could happen and every single liberal in America is waiting for the first day of a new Dem-controlled House. But according to Pelosi they are waiting in vain. She told Tapper. I believe that whatever we do, we have a responsibility first and foremost to unify the nation. Second of all, you can't go down any path without the facts and the law. But it's not some place that I think we should go, Pelosi said. When pressed by Tapper Pelosi crushed the liberal dream and explained that the Dems controlled the House when Bush started his disastrous Iraq war. It was shady from the get-go and history proved Trump right by exposing the reason Bush went as a fraud. She explained that if anything would be a high crime and misdemeanor worthy of impeachment it would have been that. What could be worse than that? Pelosi said. Correct. We have precedent and rule of law in this country. Bush was not impeached. That is a precedent that will hold and unless the Dems or the establishment GOP can show Trump starting an illegal war that almost destroyed the world and unleashed terrorism on the entire and added trillions to our debt, Trump is in the clear. Share if you agree. SNL fat shames Sarah Sanders then removes her pants. Her response is heroic. SNL writers have many reasons to dislike Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Beyond just politics, it's simply less fun to make fun of Sanders compared to her predecessor, Sean Spicer. But that didn't stop them from trying. In their first portrayal of the press secretary, they tried a bit of fat shaming, calling her mother a southern hamburger. Sanders' father, Mike Huckabee, called the sketch a little bit silly, sexist, misogynist. In their follow-up, SNL decided to blast Sanders' confidence, by giving her no pants. In true SNL form, the sketch favored preachiness over comedy. The reporters in the scene were portrayed as the adults in the room while Sanders pranced around in a skimpy outfit signing Demi Lovato's confident. Interspersed between her choreography were ridiculous comments made to make Sanders look like a foolish oaf. It was a far cry from the image the Christian mother tends to portray. But at least SNL got one detail right. Their Sanders had a clear disdain for the questions posed by the press. So does the real Sanders. She also doesn't seem to care about the show's nasty portrayal. During its airing, she was busy honoring our military in Japan with Donald Trump. Confident. Indeed. Comment she's confident and share if you love our confident press secretary. It's not bad that she believes in Trump. It's amazing. Two years after bashing him, this Saudi prince learned why you don't mess with Trump. Something incredible has happened in the world and the dopey mainstream media hasn't picked up on it. Trump just won Big Ulge today. How? Here's how. Here is Al Walid's tweet during the election. Tell me if you can see the pattern. Here is Al Walid's tweet during the election. Tell me if you can see the pattern. Then Trump hit back harder like he always does. 
after Trump won, dopey Prince Ventilal wrote him apology. Apology not accepted ha 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 ha. President Trump doesn't have any chill. Check this out. Saudi Arabia's Prince Al Walid bin Talal is a prominent member of the country's royal family and a wealthy investor. He has now been arrested. Saudi Arabia's King Salman just literally removed a host of prominent officials, including bin Talal. The Wall Street Journal reported that bin Talal was arrested. Former Finance Minister Ibrahim Al Asaf was detained recently as well, according to Reuters.